for our seventh day of get good. Today's shout out shall be. Wood Torch Shows and Mods, congratulations on winning the seventh shout out. A link to their channel will be in the description. The fuck? Huh? You're a fucking idiot. Welcome to a video on how to get good at the Jade Cactus, perhaps one of the most shafted characters in terms of balance patches in the game. Players who are able to master the world's slowest prick will learn great patience in taking their time to get to places, but to also curse at PopCap for not giving Cactus any form of mobility at all. Let's get started. The Jade Cactus is a variant of the Cacti class, who worships the glory days of back when she used to actually be a viable option back in Garden Warfare 1, before being shafted two consecutive patches in a row. They follow the tradition of every armored variant in the game, exchanging movement speed for more health. Jade Cactus has 150 health, allowing her to sponge a little more than your average prick, and survive blows that would normally be fatal to most other variants, though she sacrifices 15% of her movement speed as a result, only traveling at just under 5 and a half meters per second, which as a not so fun fact, makes Jade Cactus the slowest character in the entire game outside of speed penalties, so good luck trying to run away from any imps that happen to spot you. Their primary weapon is of a series of shatter needles that behave differently depending on the surface they hit. The weapon fires at 150 rounds per minute and has 10 ammo per clip before needing to take a 2.25 second reload. Each shot fired can deal 23.5 damage for a normal hit, 25.2 for a critical hit, and up to 15 for the splash in a normal sized radius. The impact damage is subject to a little bit of drop off, with it going down to 20 damage for a normal hit, and 21 for a critical hit at long range. Now for the unique behavior that was briefly mentioned earlier. If the projectile strikes a floor, or any surface that isn't a player, then the needle will stick in the ground for one second before detonating, dealing the 15 splash damage that was mentioned earlier. If however, the projectile directly strikes a player, then it will explode instantly, instead of waiting for one second. Keen listeners would have however, noticed that I said on direct contact with players, and not specifically enemies. This is because the instant detonation also triggers when shooting at your allies. So if an SB or any close range specialist is harassing your friend, you can just shoot at them if it is easier, and you may just be able to save them. Because of how Jade Cactus functions, it is strongly suggested to take high ground whenever possible, as well as hesitate when turning around corners, since you can check if someone is standing right beside the corner, and either force them to come out, or to just die. Additionally, because of the instant detonation, if enemies are tightly packed together, you can easily chip at everyone around the main target, and severely weaken them. The optimum upgrade setup for the Jade Cactus would be the ammo, reload, and damage upgrades, with the ammo and damage upgrades being especially important since they allow the Jade Cactus to more freely set up detonation traps, but to also reduce the amount of downtime she has when setting up the aforementioned traps. In terms of strengths, the Jade Cactus's primary weapon allows her to check around corners, as well as deal with multiple enemies at once in certain situations. The extra 25 health also allows her to survive a bit more than your traditional cactus, which can be useful in scenarios where they normally get their ass kicked. However, with Jade Cactus being the slowest character in the game, on top of a class with no mobility options, makes it take a long time to get to destinations of desire, and makes running away from fast classes like imps and scientists, borderline impossible. Additionally, because the needles don't detonate instantly when hitting a floor or wall, enemies may see them coming, and have time to move out of the way. Thanks to this guide, you will now be the master of taking enemies by surprise, as well as learning why next to no one enjoys playing any armored variant that isn't Iron Citron. Be sure to come back for the next episode tomorrow. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe for more shit like this. Have fun.